no stopping us now. I love that song. G'day folks, welcome to Big V TV, Division 2 out at the lovely Ringwood Lake again. What a new venue. It's not lovely, it's freezing. Well it's cold, it's a great place though. We didn't exactly think we'd be filming in front of the water today. Yeah, where were we going to be mate? Well, and what's not there? <laughs> I'll tell hey. you what, we've already done two shows and I've copped it twice already. I'm going to cop it a third time now. Yeah, and another it, two couple after more. this. We got a couple more mate. Yes, I put my hand up. I did say we'll film today's show in front of the Miner's Cottage down at Ringwood Lake. Great, tranquil setting, <laughs> oh. nice and cosy, step back in time. I didn't know that it burnt down four years ago. <laughs> I apologise. It's Hell, gone. How long have you been living here? <laughs> yep, I know. I t look, that's three times now you've given it to me. You deserve it three more. Three times. I've had you enough. do know, though, we get hate mail about the location of Big V TV. Why? People just, they want us to go out west and do it. We all live out this side of town. We all do this voluntarily. People just put it out hey, there. Hey, go he back. lives like 30 <laughs> seconds away. I still drive an hour to get here. Go back a step. But no, we'll have it at Ringwood Lake. Go, hang on, go back a step. People seriously waste their time sending in mail about where we film Big V TV. They don't write a letter. What do they do? No one writes a letter. What do they do? We get emails. We get phone Seriously? Calls. Yes. Get a life, people. Did, really? Did, you know, they're now those same people are now going to write more letters about Come you on. complaining about us writing a letter. We're filming out at Werribee Park Lake today. You wouldn't know the difference, <laughs> would you? You wouldn't know the difference. Sorry, here we go. D2 right. men. Melton 60 went down to Western Port 71. Great win, Steelers. Yes. Oh, nice Great win. Yeah. Very, we wouldn't attempt this. Win. Marty P, 18 and 12 for the thoroughbreds. Well, Chris is Marty P. Marty P. Love Marty Peach. Peach. Do you know we got Peach. 10 of those from Peach. the line? Peach. Did he really? 10 of 16 from the line. Very, very okay. good. Chris yeah. Jones, 17 and 8 for Western Port. Matthew Williams, 17, 6 and 9 steals. Very, very, very good. Very good player. Great win for the Steelers. Yeah, it was their middle two quarters that did it. I think they had like a 24 and a 25 or yep. something in, in second and third, and that's what set it up for them. Let's head up north. Game number 200 for Timmy Pickett, the Whoa. Farmers. They mustered around, they got into it. Uh, they just didn't want to see him and all that get up and get like last week. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> the old hay baling was done early in the <laughs> afternoon, so that the cows were milked extra early. They yeah. got down there for Horsham. The Farmers got up 67 to Keelor, 53. You went for Keelor. I did. I stuck with the Farmers. I'm right there with them. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Keelor only won the last quarter, actually, so I was way off base there. Keelor, 17 more shots in this game, by the way. They yeah. went 28% from the field compared with Horsham's 41%. Here's the big one. Yep. Corey Collier, 24 points and 27 rebounds. Dominated. And Hello. Rail dominated. <laughs> <laughs> but he shot it at over 60%. Great well. game. Oh, yeah. Great game. Yeah. yeah nice. now, are you finally back on the farmers now? No. Come on, surely. Who have they got this weekend? I don't know, we'll tell you in a minute, but surely you're back with them. I'm not convinced. Come I on. I don't think they're very deep. They're only playing eight players. If they get an injury to one of those key guys. I've got a feeling they might have a new player starting this week. Is that right? Yeah. Do you tell? Six foot five from Ballarat, really? I believe. Wow. Am I right or wrong? That's a fair drive, Ballarat to Hawkins. Who cares? Am I right or wrong? Well, hey, you live out in the country. The farmers don't worry about 10 minute trips in the car, mate. <laughs> Out in the country, you put in the hard yards. Just wait and see. They've got okay. a new player, okay. I think. Am okay. I right? Mm -hmm. You're telling the story? Yeah, but you can get the paperwork. Am I right? We don't do paperwork. That's so, like... So two years okay, ago. Okay, I know, I know. Okay. Everything's done a lot. Mornington 87, defeated Cranbird 79 in overtime. Yes. Andrew Lowe 21 points, Dave Smith 20 points, Kate Egan 16 and 13 for the Breakers. Bevan Camilleri 21 points, Bevo. Justin McMillan, yeah Bevo, Justin McMillan, Macca 20 yeah, points Macca. for Cranbird. Yeah. Michael Troy and 16 points for the Cavs as well. Well done to Mornington in OT. Needed that. Really good. I just want to touch on Cranny a little bit here. Bevo, as you want to call him. Yep. Bevo, yeah, that's his name. Five of five from the three point. Yep. Ah, you could learn very, a few things. Very nice I might go down there. You Unfortunately, he was clinic. fouled out in overtime, and I reckon that was probably the difference because yeah. Cranbourne didn't manage a field goal in that last five minutes. Okay. The bad news. The bad news for this week in D2 men. Our boys. Oh no. 62. Yeah. Packenham's first win of the season, 75. Well this done, all, well done to the Warriors, but our boys went down. It's kind of awkward too. Uh, I'll tell you what's awkward. Yeah. True story. Yeah. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Packenham got up and had their first win last week. Well done to the Warriors. Well done. That's Good win. fact. Ha that, that is fact. Yes. However, prior to the game, in the week leading up, fact or fiction, the assistant coach, see you later. Fiction. Ooh. Was the week prior to Oh, the week prior. Okay, sorry. 
The coach. That's back. Gone. Plain Before coach, the win. Bay plain handy. Coach, bay handy. Out. Gone. The president since the game. They won, by the way. Gone. Where do you get your info Fact from? Fact or fiction? Do I have to say? Well, I think you just there did. you go. I think you just did. I think you just did. I think you might have just done. I think you might have just uh, given us the thumbs up. I'll tell you what. That is that is a huge right. week, a massive, massive week for Packenham yeah. because they've had some big outs, some major disruptions, some yep. huge changes, and they've got up and they've won their first game. Well done, Warriors. A lot going on outside, clearly, but geez, they they got it done. They there. knuckled down. They needed it. They if, needed if it. If that kind of thing isn't going to rally you together as a group, yeah. then nothing is. Yes, Maccabi were on demand. They didn't have the Rector brothers playing. Oh, Schechter. no. Rector? Schechter. Oh, Schechter. 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 Okay. and Dean. By the way, yeah. Maccabi were leading by a point at three-quarter time. 25 yeah. to 11 last quarter Stuffed by the Warriors. Up. Well yeah. done. Yeah. They went up. to the foul line, the Warriors, in the last quarter 20 times. Yeah. Only hit nine of them, but they went there 20 times. Yeah. Look, we don't often get a chance to single out high scorers for Packenham, but Sean Armstrong. Great, great game. 26 points or something like that. Yeah, nine um, rebounds. Oh. He yeah. He's averaging under 12 a game, yep. so well done. stepped up massively to yep. yeah, help his The only out. downside is it was against our boys. Oh, no. It's the only. They'll oh, bounce no. back, stick with They'll them. They'll be fine, I'm not worried. The downside, it. Packy got a win. Just yeah, they may not get another yeah, one. We're with yeah, McCarvey. We're with Look, you've got to embrace that one win. Come on. We're going to stick with them. Yeah. Keysborough, <laughs> 106. <laughs> Packingham obviously celebrated pretty damn hard Saturday night. Keysborough 106, Packenham 58. Celebrated really hard. Really hard. Very, very hard. 68 to 26 first half. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. shaking it off. There's no doubt about that. Did they have a 32 and a 36. 32 oh. first quarter, 36 second quarter, something like that. Dropped a bomb offensively. Keysborough. No D was being played. Keysborough hit 68 in the first half. Yeah. yeah. In the first half. Packing them hit 58 for the whole game. Yeah. So they could have gone home at half time, yeah. Keezy. They, they could have just said, see you later. Shooters, um, Keezy shot. From range at like 46%. Yeah, or nice. like that, so it's yeah. good, wasn't it? Yeah. Alistair Granger, 24 points. Tim Gowland, 13 of 15. Adam Slowinski yeah. is having yeah. a pretty good season, isn't he? Yeah. Number 22 yeah. points, having a really good season. But when you're scoring 106 points, someone's you've got five players in, in you know, score. 20 plus. Tyson yeah. Harding, 14 points for the Warriors, by the way. Coburg, 75. Mm. Lost to Craigie Byrne, who just keep getting better. Yeah. 85. I think you tipped Coburg last week, didn't you? Can't say I did. I think you did. Did I he tip Coburg? Might have. Yeah. You got anything to say to Craigie Byrne? Sorry, mate. No, this <laughs> Sorry, was, mate. This was eighth versus third. Yeah. Only ten points in it. Or yeah, but no. you know what? When you win, it doesn't matter if you win you know, one, you, one or You know Coburg um, got an import. You know that, don't you? Yeah, who they got? What's his name? Richard oh. England Jr. Richard had no England idea, Jr. Oh, I had no idea either. <laughs> Thanks for that. No worries. But that's the best name ever. <laughs> Which my name was. The Giants Richard won the England rebounds Jr. in this game, by the way, 55 to 32, and they had yeah. 11 more shots. So they had every opportunity to win Coburg. Yeah, they're up in the first quarter. Yeah. They had a, had a decent little win. But I reckon they've gone away from their game plan. I didn't see the game, so I'm just speculating. Coburg's game plan? Score. Yeah. Oh, what's their game plan? Tell well, us. Well, look, they obviously went inside. I think they only took maybe one shot or something like that from, from range mm. in the first quarter. They had they shot a good clip. They were up. From then on, they were just bombing it from outside. Got to the give the ball it. to Jordan Harding. Mm. How did the shoe man go? Yeah, top score. Brian O'Meara, yeah. the shoe yeah, man, nice. 20 he points. It, he's Robert right. Williams, the Good shoe season. man. <laughs> Robert Tolibon, 22 points. Paul Sionides, 18 points for the Eagles. Tolibon, Tolibon fouled out in 23 yeah, saw that. minutes. Saw that. Yes. Not bad. He's been good the last couple of weeks, though. Yeah. Hey, yeah. RTB, yeah. yeah. been very good, RTB. RTB. Oh, RTB. Good foul out. You got five. You might as well use it. Yeah. No point finishing the game with one, Cal. Hey, listen. I wrote a story last week on the final whistle. I'd love to get. I'd love to get your input on this. I didn't read talking it. about whether we got rid of individual fouls and just made them team fouls in basketball. Yep. It's just a theory. It's yeah. just putting it out there. What do you think? Oh, it's alright. I don't mind it. Considering the other sports don't. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a double whammy in basketball yeah. compared to other sports. What do you think? I'm, I love where you're coming from. Yeah. It's really a different thought. Yeah. But, but it ain't going to change. It, it, well, it's not because basketball doesn't. It's fabric really of the game. Completely. Yeah, absolutely. But another thing on that sort of, you know, you've got me thinking a little mm. bit off off centre. Some of the teams that won this week in Div Two Men ran with a roster of like eight or nine players yep. against a team that was suiting up, say, eleven and twelve, and giving them minutes. Yep. Do we have too many players on a team? Ooh. Oh no, don't say, don't say that. He might be in trouble. He might not get a game for the rest well, of the year. I think year. Well, they could probably increase it to 15. Especially <laughs> in Div 2. I reckon the coaches are trying to share the minutes around too Ooh, much. And I the agree. 
the ones who could get the win done are sitting on the pine, mm. while the Gumbies are running around doing nothing. Only look at the no, Gumbies. I'll tell you what, I, I, they I, could always step up. I, sm <laughs> I smell a special contributor to Final Whistle this week. Really? Yeah, we might just uh, we might just compare notes. Okay. We might just compare notes. All right. Ladder, here we go. D2 men. Horsham, the Farmers, eight and two. They've bounced back. Yep. Love it. Keysborough, yep. seven and two in form. Craigie Burn, six and three. Keelor, five and three. Can I stop you there? Oh. That is the same top four that we had in round two. The order's okay. different. Same four teams. Okay. So I reckon it's done. <laughs> Melt in five and three. I reckon it's done. In fifth. Done. Western Port four eight. and four. It's round eight. Our boys four Oof. and six. Same four okay. since round two. Our boys yeah. four and six. Yeah, they'll be right. They'll be right. I remember. Coburg three and five. Cranbourne three and five. Mornington two and six. Packenham one and nine. Top four's done. Top four's done. But. I'm going to contradict myself because I'm female, I can do that. Coburg play no two comment. teams no in comment. the top. No We've got a female boss, you have to live with it. <laughs> Coburg have two teams in the top four this week. If they can get two wins. I feel our planets are lining at the moment. Yeah. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Go on. I just made my point and you didn't ever Oh, sorry, what did you say? What did I say? I don't know, I wasn't listening. That's what men do. We don't <laughs> listen. Go on, what are you saying? Oh, no, no, gee, I could go to town here, but I just won't. Just oh, won't. What did you say, by the way? It doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you pick up what she said? I watched it on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a call in the office and let us know what you said. Yeah, well, round no one watches. <laughs> round nine, Saturday games. The disappointing thing is far too many people watching. That's why they yeah, pick up the phone and have a go at us. Saturday games. Here we go. Coburg against the Farmers. 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 Are we going to pick Coburg? Farmers. It's going to be. Coburg a... have got any chance of cracking in that top four. I don't think they have, but if they have, if they do not win both this weekend, it is over. I love it when they come to down, to come to town, the farmers. It's yeah. just like a procession of tractors down the highway, <laughs> into Coburg. They don't even own tractors. Yeah, Tim Pickett might. owns a tractor. Really? I don't know, but it sounds good. <laughs> I'm sure he'd have a tractor, we'll, for sure. We'll find out. Hey, Tim Pickett, if you watch this, I'm sure you don't. But if you do, can you please email us? Email him, media at bigv.com.au. I, I, I want a picture of you with your tractor. Yeah, we want a photo. We yeah. want to put a photo up on the Big V Facebook page yeah. of Tim Pickett or all the Horsham players yeah. lined up tractor. together like a team photo with yeah. a tractor. Or prove, be great. prove this idiot wrong. No, they're farmers. Send us a photo of what you do during your day job. Proof that you don't work on a farm. That's what they do. They do. The, they do. I'm telling you. They're farmers. Melton Keys, bro. I if love it. If they can send us photographic evidence that that is not send what they through. do, will you stop calling no, them No, no, no. I want photographic evidence <laughs> that they are farmers. They might all work in a bank for all you know. No, they don't. Melton Keys, bro. Melt, they don't have banks up there. Melton Keys, <laughs> bro. They trade the in hay. They grain. trade in hay. That's right. <laughs> No, I, 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 we are very lucky that they love us talking about oh, no. it. They love it. Melton and Keysborough, a big game for the Thoroughbreds. Really important. If, yeah, I don't think it's that big a game. Keysy will do this and do it easily, and they will take out the title. Bit of pressure on you there, Nathan, vote. Keys I'm Mate, it's yeah, round nine, favorite. and you're yeah. saying Keysborough will win the title. Yeah. Keysborough will win, but I don't know. Yeah. Title, I'm probably just going to sit tight on that. You could be nice regretting job. that for the next three months, you know. And that, I'm don't sure you? I will be. Western Port, Cranbourne. Good game. Western Port in form. Good win at Melbourne. Oh, Western West. Port. Yeah, they're looking good. Craigie Burn, our boys. Ooh, it's a hard game for our boys. Well, they no, might not yeah. bounce back just yet. Oh, the Schecters might be back though. They may not bounce it's back just yet. Matter. Craigie Burn at home, I think. Yeah. Sunday games, Packin and Mornington. Wouldn't it be great if Packy got up with another win? Don't think it's going to happen. Um, uh, were they, have they cemented a new coach, by the way? Uh, Locked in. I believe new president. That the new assistant Locked is in. filling in. New assistant. The new assistant. The new assistant coach from a week ago is yes. now the coach. Yes. Hey, he got him a win. He got. He did get him a win. Yeah. And got him a pretty big He's loss the next one. day. Yeah. Packing a Mornington. Who are you going to go for there? Packing a Mornington. I'm going to go Mornington. Mornington probably. Keel or. Co oh, I reckon. <laughs> oh, I better not do that. Keel or Coburg. Geneva. What a great game. Gah, Killer. Yeah. You always say great game for Coburg. Killer will win. Killer? Yeah, they will. Killer. We'll win by 20 points. Have Coburg got photographic evidence of you or something? No, no, Is there something going on, on down at Coburg? It's all about the shoes. I love the shoes. 
D2 women, Werribee still without a win. 48 went down to Coburg, 73. Kennedy Taylor, 11 points for the Devils. Good oh, young kid. Oh, we've gone to well, D2 women. We have, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we have. I said D2 straight women. Straight no, I said, did I say D2 women? Who's I said D2 women. Oh, you're two sticking up for each other. Uh, 11 points <laughs> for the Devils. I'd like to see these new players coming through. Yeah. Hopefully, Werribee can uh, unearth a few. Stacey Prochak, 13 and 12 for the Giants. She's She's pretty good. pretty easy win for the Giants in the end, yeah. wasn't it? Cranbourne 55 defeated Blackburn 42. This was a big game. Poor shooting, sub 30% both teams. Yeah. Mocky 23 and 9. Amy McFarlane 13 points for Cranbourne. Danny Natoli 14 and 7 for Blackburn. Lauren Hoare held to just 7 yes. points and she's been up. That yep. makes a difference, mate. Big difference. Huge there. difference. But proving my theory from the Div 2 show, Div 2 men show, right? Uh, Cranny only played 8 players. Mm -hmm. mm. Cran Cranbourne now the favourites. I think you said Blackburn a couple of weeks ago. I did say Blackburn, and I'm not going to write them off because the chances of holding Lauren Hoare to that sort of a score twice, unlikely. Oh, yeah. Beck Nathan didn't play again? She hasn't played for a couple of weeks. Where is she? No, no. She might have just know? had a cameo role, and Danny Natoli stepped in, and maybe they don't need her now. Oh, uh, they're going to win, they'll need her, I think. You reckon? Yeah, if they want to win the whole thing, they'll need her. Mornington 54 went down to Cranbourne 59 Sunday game. Tegan Rolf 16 points for the Breakers. Mocky. Continuing her brilliance. Yeah, she's had an awesome season. Cracker. Mocky 12 and 10 for the Cavs. Cranbourne fifth straight win. Are we standing up and listening to them now? Have been the whole season. Have been the whole season? Yeah. Western Port 52 defeated at Melbourne Uni 43. The Steelers snap a four game losing streak. Ashley Wright 15 points. Kira Biswick only seven points, but 18 yes. rebounds, four assists, and six steals. She had a great game. Rhea Mickle 14, 9, and five blocks oh, for the Black Angels. Right. Kylie Turnley 11 and 12. Good game. Western Port, great to see them bounce back and just tightens things back up again. It's great to see Ash Wright. She was probably a bit of a fringe player oh the last couple of years. She has just stepped it right up to top score in a, a team that we'd pick to be right up there at the end of the season. She's doing really well. Yeah. Good to see. Listen to you. You don't even know who Ash Wright yeah, is. He, he I know her mum's name. Can't, yeah, what, Mrs. Wright? Tracy. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Wright. It's Tracy. It's not hard. It's a friend of the league. Did you email her yesterday? Yes, I did. <laughs> I actually did. Did she reply to you? Oh, probably not. Oh. Ladder, D2 women. Cranbourne 7 and 1. Look the goods. Oh, I reckon they're title favourites right now. Gotta be. Oh, oh yeah. Gotta be. I reckon too. Are you with them too. yet or not? Are you with the Cavs yet or not? Oh, she's gonna, she just said that. Have be been the ball. whole season. Can you replay no, it from you two said Blackburn ago. a couple of weeks ago. I said they'll be up there. Western Port, yeah. Cranbourne. You going Cranbourne, I gather? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Werribee, Mornington. Oh, Mornington, I think. Yeah. 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 Pretty comfy, taking off bit around it. Melbourne Uni Coburg. What a great Come game. Come on, what a Melbourne great. Uni Coburg. What a great game. <sighs> Coburg. Melbourne Uni. <laughs> Are we done? Sorry, yeah. Molly, but I'm going Melbourne Uni. Nah, Coburg, go go your Molly. <laughs> okay. T2 show. <laughs> Ain't no stopping us now.